guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you a bunch of makeup, skincare and clothes that I bought and there is a lot of it. So I think it's safe to say this is going to be a very long video so let's just get straight into it. Let's go ahead and start with the makeup. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the stuff I got from Colourpop and oh, Oh my goodness, bless their hearts. Okay, so they sent me this free eyeshadow here. This is the shade Flamingo. It is like, Flamingo, Flamingo. It is like the most beautiful aqua blue shade. And um, I actually didn't order this one. They sent it to me for free because they had like a little note with it that said, hey, um, hi lovely, sorry we're late. And I just thought it was the cutest thing ever because it wasn't even late. It got here in like a week and a half. And that is like really good for international shipping like Makeup Geek takes about two weeks and it was just really quick I think it's because um, the like extra half week was how long it took them to send it but that's not long at all like I would not have complained or been upset or anything I think it was so quick but they sent me a free eyeshadow and I thought it was so 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 so, so cute I saw it and I was like now the shades I did, oh, I better put the lid on that one. Oh, I'm not even in focus. Okay, so shades I ordered. I ordered six um, eyeshadows from Colourpop. So let's just, oh, I feel like this is going to be a very, 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 <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a very messy video. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to drop everything everywhere because I have so much stuff here. It's going to be like, whoosh, Okay, so these are these six eyeshadows that I ordered myself. Let's just... Ugh, I don't even have like... This is chaos. This is going to be a very chaotic video. Okay, so the first one I have here, I was wearing this one in my August Favourites and Failures. This is the shade Lala. <gasps> the entire thing just fell out. I can't even believe that just happened. <laughs> the eyeshadow was like totally just. Can you even tell? You can probably tell it's just crushed. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Okay, moving on. I'll deal with that later. The shadow I have on my eyes today is this one here. I'm not gonna like face them towards the camera. I'm gonna go like this for now. So this is the shade um, On The Rocks, which is like a really nice coppery bronze shade. I also got these two shades. So this one here is Play and this is Desert. Where did I put the lid? And then these are the, la oh wait, oh there it is. <laughs> so these are the last two shades I got. So this first one here, this is the shade Mittens. I love colors like this. And then this one here is the shade Bandit. I would just like to say that everything from Colourpop is so pigmented and creamy. Like, so buttery, so creamy, so pigmented. You know. Moving on, I also got two highlighters. So the first one I have here is a, a really nice, like, goldeny bronze kind of highlight. This is the shade Wisp, and I just thought it... Well, obviously I thought it was amazing, because otherwise why would I buy it, but very pretty and then the next one we have here is the shade lunch money so this is more of like a goldeny champagne kind of color and if you can tell right there and right there twice I accidentally dragged my nail through this trying to swatch it so it just I mean you know whatever but I just wish that it could be flat. Last but not least from Colourpop, I also bought four lip products. I got three of the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks and then I got a lippy stick. So we'll start off with the lippy stick because it's one of them. Um, that eyeshadow fell on it, so it's a little bit dirty. So I got the lippy stick in the shade Skimpy, which is the nicest like pinky nude color it reminds me a lot of the shade blankety from mac which is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks but i have tried this already and the thing that i love the most about this which is why i probably love it more than blankety is it's really hydrating and i have like really dry lips like seriously I have like the driest lips. They are literally as dry as probably the Sahara Desert, honestly. 
but this is really hydrating so my lips don't feel dry my lips feel so hydrated and really good so that is another thing that I love about this besides the color and this is probably one of my favorite lip colors of all time so thank you Colourpop. But now on to the liquid lipsticks. So as I said before, I did get three of them. So the first one here is in the shade Vice. And when I swatched this, I just expected it to be a lot more like nudie brown rather than like really light pink. But it is a lot more light pink than I expected. So I'm not sure how much I will wear it. It still is a really, really nice colour. I just don't really suit light pinks that much. So... The next colour I have here, this is the shade Beepa. I am obsessed with this colour. I haven't actually tried it on my lips yet because a lot of this stuff I've been waiting to film this video before I use any of them. But I did see an Instagram post of someone wearing this and I instantly fell in love. I was like, I have to get that when I order my Colourpop stuff, so... And last but not least, this is the shade Midi. This is a beautiful... Um, nudie brownie pink it is so up my alley i am in love with this color i feel like midi is kind of one of those like your lips but better kind of color you know what i'm saying okay so now i'm gonna show you guys the foundations i got i really don't have a favorite foundation so i did get quite a few you know we've all been there <laughs> trying to find um a favorite foundation like a holy grail one that i want to wear every day and i actually have been loving a lot of these foundations because i've tested like well i've tested two of them and then one of them, I had it before, but it was like way too light for my skin color. Like, if I used it, I would look like a really, really yellow ghost. Because <laughs> it's also really, really yellow, but really, really white. The first one I got is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I actually got two, but this one here is the shade 153. And as you can see, it is just way too dark for me. Like, even when I'm super tanned... This shade is just way too dark for me, so I don't know what to do with it because I spent money on it and then I was like, damn, and then I really, really wanted to try that foundation, so I got another because I was like, ugh. So I got another one and this shade actually suits me perfectly, it's what I'm wearing now, and this is the shade 127 and amazing, amazing foundation. Cannot say enough good things at- ah! Oh! Okay, the lid's gone. <laughs> Can't say enough good things about it, even though I have only used it today. Actually, no, I've used it twice now, but it is an amazing foundation. Looks so damn good. So the next one I got here is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. It sounds like a spray can. Like, I'll shake it up and be like, shh. Feels like I'm spray painting my face. It's like I'm vandalizing my face. Like, shh. I'll like do some cool like graffiti tag on my face with it um yes but um it's really weird because I only have four shades which I just find really weird like why do you only have four shades but this is the shade 300 and it luckily is perfect for when I'm tanned so I'm pretty happy that one of the four shades miraculously was my color so yeah this is the one that I already have tried but I have like the ghostly yellow foundation color. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation and this is in the shade Medium 1.5. I have no idea how to pronounce the name of it. It's like Valoris or something like that but I really like this foundation although... Okay so I did try this one again in this shade because I haven't been able to use the other one because it's way too light for me but I did try it again and I don't know I feel like after a while it just makes your skin look really gross and I don't have like big pores but it just really after like a while after like an hour actually it makes your pores look really big and noticeable which I don't like I don't know it's so expensive as well I also got the um, Maybelline fit me dewy smooth foundation I really wanted to get the matte and poreless one because I love all things that are poreless so I really wanted to get that one but they were sold out in pretty much every color at the place near me so I just ended up going with this one this is the um, shade 225 medium buff so yeah but I've really been loving dewy skin at the moment so I'm actually happy I got that one instead of the other one and the last foundation that I got is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and this is the 
perfect shade for me. Like, I had to buy it online because they don't sell it, like, in stores over here. And I was so scared because it costs so much money. And I didn't want to, like, spend that much money. And then turns out, oh, it's the wrong colour. So I'm so happy. This is actually the perfect colour for me. I mean, not right now. <laughs> but when I'm not tanned, it is the perfect colour. And it feels amazing. Everything you have heard about this foundation is true. I can tell you that right now. Unless it's bad, then it's not true. But every good thing you've heard about this foundation is true. Also, little side note, something I... I mean, it's probably not that interesting, but I personally find it interesting. <laughs> is, okay, so you see how it's like that way, like a little oval that's like up? And then, without moving it, you turn it that way. And now the oval's this way. Let's move on to MAC. Okay, so I got I got two lip pencils. The first one is in the shade Saw, and the second one is in the shade Whirl. They literally glide on like a dream. Oh! The first time I used it, which was to film this first impressions video right here, um, I am already obsessed with it, and now I'm going to be using it every single time I do my makeup because it's so like creamy and buttery and they are as good as everyone says. Okay, next from MAC I got two, um, what do you call these things? Lipsticks. <laughs> so the first one I got here is a Viva Glam lipstick. This is Viva Glam II. So I think that means Viva Glam number two. But yeah, it's like the prettiest brownie pinky nudie colour and I wanted it so bad the first oh when did I get that on my hand and then the next one I got is the shade Velvet Teddy which probably everyone's heard of this is like I mean I hear about Velvet Teddy all the time probably or well I'm pretty sure it's really popular so also from MAC, I got the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. So yeah, this is just like a, um, wait, did I say Soft Ochre? Yeah, it's a Soft Ochre one. This is just like an eyeshadow primer. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what everyone uses it for. I don't know what paint pot means, but <laughs> everyone uses it as an eyeshadow primer, so that's what I'm assuming it is, and it gets rid of all the discoloration in your eyes as well, which I love because I have it too much of that. <laughs> so the next thing, I have the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which is amazing. It just gives you, like, that's what it looks like. It gives you the nicest glow. Like, you can just make yourself look so, like, radiant and glowing using this highlighter. I mean, I'm sure you can use a lot of highlighters, but this one is just so pigmented. Like, you just... And there's so much highlight. It's amazing. I have the Prep and Prime Spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus, which you just... I have never heard anyone talk about the smell of this. Like... I really like the smell. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's why no one's talked about it, but I actually like the smell. And then the last two things I got from MAC are eyeshadow. So the first one is still in one of these things because I bought it in store. This is it here. This is the eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate. It's just like a reddy kind of um, brown colour. The reason I got it originally was because in the store um, they didn't have the shade Brown Script, which is what I originally got. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to get this one because <laughs> it's similar. So I did. And that's basically why I got it. And also it's because um, I ordered some other eyeshadows from another company and they didn't send me the one eyeshadow that I, like, the whole reason I made the order was because of this one eyeshadow and they didn't send me that one eyeshadow. And then they weren't replying to my emails, so I heard that these, that brown script was a good dupe, so I went to go get brown script, they didn't have that, so I got this. And now I have both and the eyeshadow that wasn't sent to me is now being sent to me, so I have like three of the same eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the shade Brown Script that I ordered and it's pretty similar to Swiss Chocolate. It's just like a reddy brown kind of colour, um, like an earthy reddy brown I guess. Very similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills 
Sienna eyeshadow, which is the one that's being sent to me now that originally wasn't sent to me, so yay! While I'm at it, I might as well show you the other eyeshadows I got. So these are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are only seven of the eight I um, ordered because I already told you the story, you know, they didn't send me Sienna. They also sent me two of the wrong contour shades, even though I only ordered one contour shade, but... I received two and they're both incorrect, but the correct one is now being sent to me, so all is patched up and I'm happy. But these ones here are the seven that I ordered from, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we have Morocco, Red Earth, Orange Soda, Sangria, China Rose, Orange Soda, and up the top here we have Caramel. And here are the two incorrect um, contour shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I thought I may as well show you. Here we have the shade Peaches and Cream, which is like really orange. I probably won't be able to use that. And then this one says it is a highlighter, and this is the shade um, Latte. So it's just like a really light one. I think you'll probably use it under your eyes. I think that's what they mean by highlighter. Oh, wait, I do have a brush. <gasps> Dropping everything. Um, okay, so I also got this. Um, this is a Zoeva one two three Lux Cheek Finish. Wait, Lux Cheek Finish Brush. You know. I think this is the last makeup. Oh, I know. I do have one more. Don't mind me. This is um. Well, everyone knows what this is. This is the Beauty Blender, and it's dirty because I used it today for my makeup. Oh my goodness! When I got it in the mail, it was so small. I was like, I don't think I got the right one. Like. It does not look that small in videos, <laughs> but I forgot that people wet them like they're wet in videos and then I wet it and you know, it's normal now. But at first I was like, I think they sent me a dud because that's tiny. Um, I also have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've already spoken about this in a video, but obsessed. And last makeup product I think I have is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic primer which is just like an illuminating primer and it gives you like a really nice radiant glow to the skin so I actually really like it because I used it to film this video and I can say that it's nice. Okay next thing is this. This is the Estee Lauder Take It Away Makeup Removing Lotion and the reason I got this is because it just smells so damn good. Oh, I like just want to put it on my face so I can smell it. Actually, I've been using it and I mean it's pretty expensive for a makeup remover. Like there are so many makeup removers you can get that aren't this expensive but it makes my skin feel like a baby's bottom. I am not even exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not kidding. It makes my skin feel so smooth. It literally takes all of the makeup off every single last bit. And it's safe to say that I am obsessed. I got this little gift bag from Estee Lauder as well. So you get this when you spend $70 or more at Estee Lauder. So let me show you guys what is inside. So the first thing we have here is the... So this is just like some testers. We have the double wear concealer here and then three lip colours. Next we have the... Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser Slash Purifying Mask. So, you know, they don't actually tell you how to use any of this stuff. Like, they don't have anything that actually tells you what to do with any of it. So I have no idea how to use any of these things. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that is... Oh wait, Foam Cleanser. Okay, duh, it's probably a cleanser. <laughs> okay, Bella. The next thing we have here is the... Daywear Advanced Multi Action, wait, Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream. It smells like cucumbers. The next thing we have here is the Advanced Night Repair. So I think this just goes all over the face because there's also an eye repair thing in there, and this is just night repair. So, ooh. I mean, it's not like a really bad smell, but it's not like a smell that I would want to smell all the time. Ooh, and this nail polish. This is um, the Pure Color G9 Sauvain. It's the color I have on my fingers right now. It is. I saw it in the pack and I was like, oh, this is the prettiest color. And then I broke a nail yesterday and it was really painful and ugly and I have a photo shoot on Tuesday. So I needed to get my nails done because obviously I can't go to a photo shoot with like just some bung nail. So I 
also got all of the other nail color changed to this one because I just wanted it because it's so pretty. I'm just, a, I'm obsessed with everything. <laughs> Every single thing I'm like, I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. We get it, Bella. You're obsessed with a lot of things. Next here, we have the um, Advanced Night Repair Eye. I feel like it should be eye repair, but it's repair eye. I feel like there should be an end to the sentence, but there's not. But yeah, so this is like a um, night eye cream. Yep, but I'm so happy about this because I love eye products, which you guys will see in this video. I have a lot of eye products. I have I have creasy under eyes and I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I don't understand why they're so creasy. Actually, they look so good because of the Laura Mercier. <sighs> cannot say enough good things about that translucent powder. Any eye product that I hear that is recommended, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> but I'm really happy to have that. I don't have a night eye cream, so I'm actually really happy because I would like to have a night eye cream. Oh, can't hear out of one ear. That's weird. Um, they also gave me like a tiny little sample of the Modern Muse La Rouge um, perfume. What does it smell like? smells good. And the last thing that came in the gift pack is this um, lip gloss. That's the name. And it is Pure Color Gloss in the shade 09 Rock Candy. It's a shimmer. It's very sheer. Let me just show you the eye products. I actually don't have that many. I only have three, but I feel like for one haul, that's a lot of eye products, you know? So here we have the Origins Eye Cream. So this is the Starting Over Eye Cream. It's Age erasing eye cream with mimosa, whatever mimosa is. Ah, uh, see, here we go. This is why I got it. I knew there was a specific reason. The age erasing eye cream with mimosa. Use AM and PM, 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 um, to help smooth away lines. Yes, give me some of that. Okay, so the other eye product I got is the Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatment. It says you tap it on, wait three minutes, and then wipe it off. And it's for dark circles, it's meant to brighten, um, help with lines, tired eyes, puffiness, hydrating, and plumping. So, see how it's like multicolored? 12 of these little things. I wonder what is inside it. Like, is it a cream? So, here we have another Glam Glow product. This is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It's for pro Pores, problem skin, skin imperfections, clarifying spots, razor bumps, and ingrown hairs. But I heard it was good for like um, blackheads as oh, blackheads as well, which is the reason I got it. But I also am really excited because you know those things on YouTube that you see and it's like a little black mask and you put it on your nose or like wherever you have um, blackheads and then you peel it off and you can see all the little blackheads that came out. I just ordered that online so I'm really excited for that because I don't like blackheads, you know, no one does. It's like really extravagant packing, packaging and then out pops this like tiny little <laughs> pack, uh, like thing here. What does this smell like? I've definitely smelt this smell somewhere before. It kind of smells like an Aerobar, you know those ones with the little green spearmint bubbles on the inside but it definitely smells like something else as well I just can't put my finger on it anyway um Catley um so I also got two products from Lush so the first one I got is this which is the Angels on Best Skin Face Facial Cleanser it evens out your skin tone, reduces redness, and improves the health and appearance of your skin, giving a natural, healthy glow. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's so weird because there's like actual, there's like actual lavender in there. I just, I don't know. I feel. And then the next thing I got is the Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. So this is a sea breeze captured in a bottle. You spritz it directly on the face or to cotton wool pads to wipe away any dirt. Okay, so I think that's all the skincare that I got. Okay, now let's jump into the clothes. I have a lot of clothes to share with you guys, so 
let's get them. So let's start off with the items I got from Seed. So the first one I got is this little bodysuit here. And not only does it look really good, because I'm in love with it, but it feels really nice. Like, I just love the feel of this bodysuit, so... What are you gonna do? <laughs> the next thing I got from Seed is just like a plain little grey top. So that's literally just it. It's just a plain grey top. Okay, so let's move on to the stuff I got from ASOS. The first thing I got is this pinky nudie kind of um, skirt. It has two pockets at the front and a zip at the front. And then the back is just plain. It's really nice. I saw it and I was like, I have to have this. The next thing that I got from ASOS is just this plain little crop here. And then we have this plain fake leather jacket which I've just always wanted like a leather looking jacket I don't want actual leather no thank you so I think this is the last thing I picked up from ASOS but these are just some really nice shoes these are what are these ones new balances so these are new balances <laughs> they say 420 on them. I also got a pair of shoes from Ruby shoes so this is them, they're just like some tie-up sandals. I see so many of these shoes and these were literally $25. So, you know, why bother paying $100 for something you can get for $25? So now let's move on to what I got from White Fox Boutique. So the first thing I have here is this khaki dress so this is a nookie dress then I have some really nice black pants these are like long legged black pants and they kind of flare out a little bit at the bottom they are high waisted and I think they're very very flattering the next thing I got from White Fox Boutique is something that I'm absolutely obsessed with so I got this baby blue trench coat and I just think it is so also from White Fox Boutique I got these Key Australia sunglasses so I think these are called the Jinx don't talk to me and the last thing from White Fox Boutique is this like belt and it's got two little Clippy things. The next item I got is from Country Road and this is just a really plain brown singlet. So these are the last clothes I have. These are from Misguided and the first thing I got is like this pinky nude brownie pinky um, plain st staple top. So um, I also just got another plain top except this one is khaki with a different neckline so the other one was a bit more v-neck and this one is kind of more like you know I don't know what to call this neck but and then I also got another little bodysuit so this one is high necked and has thicker like shoulders and it's just like a plain plain brown color and the last thing I got are just some long pants I don't know why I decided to get long pants I think it was just an impulse buy um, considering it is getting warmer here but these are just some plain long brown pants and they're actually really really flattering I expected them to look really gross on me but they're actually really flattering so I'm happy so that brings us to the end of this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye here is a, a really nice like goldeny bronze kind of highlight this is the shade wisp and I just thought it well, obviously I thought it was amazing because otherwise why would I buy it but very pretty and then the next one we have here is the shade lunch money so this is more of like a goldeny champagne kind of color and if you can tell right there and right there twice I accidentally dragged my nail through this trying to swatch it so it just I mean you know whatever but I just wish that it could be flat. Last but not least from Colourpop I also bought four lip products. I got three of the ultra matte liquid lipsticks and then I got a lippy stick. So we'll start off with the lippy stick because it's one of them. Um, that eyeshadow fell on it so it's a little bit dirty. So I got the lippy stick in the shade Skimpy which is the nicest like pinky nude color it reminds me a lot of the shade blankety from mac which is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks but i have tried this already and the thing that i love the most about this which is why i probably love it more than blankety is it's really hydrating and i have like really dry lips like seriously I have like the driest lips they are literally as dry as probably the sahara desert honestly 
but this is really hydrating so my lips don't feel dry my lips feel so hydrated and really good so that is another thing that I love about this besides the color and this is probably one of my favorite lip colors of all time so thank you Colourpop. Now on to the liquid lipsticks. So as I said before, I did get three of them. So the first one here is in the shade Vice. And when I swatched this, I just expected it to be a lot more like nudie brown rather than like really light pink. But it is a lot more light pink than I expected. So I'm not sure how much I will wear it. It still is a really, really nice colour. I just don't really suit light pinks that much. So... The next colour I have here, this is the shade Beeper. I am obsessed with this colour. I haven't actually tried it on my lips yet because a lot of this stuff I've been waiting to film this video before I use any of them. But I did see an Instagram post of someone wearing this and I instantly fell in love. I was like, I have to get that when I order my Colourpop stuff, so... And last but not least, this is the shade Midi. This is a beautiful... Um, nudie brownie pink it is so up my alley i am in love with this color i feel like midi is kind of one of those like your lips but better kind of color you know what i'm saying okay so now i'm gonna show you guys the foundations i got i really don't have a favorite foundation so i did get quite a few you know we've all been there <laughs> trying to find um a favorite foundation like a holy grail one that i want to wear every day and I actually have been loving a lot of these foundations because I've tested like well I've tested two of them and then one of them I had it before but it was like way too light for my skin color like if I used it I would look like a really really yellow ghost because <laughs> it's also really really yellow but really, really hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be sharing with you a bunch of makeup skincare and clothes that I bought and there is a lot of it, so I think it's safe to say this is going to be a very long video, so let's just get straight into it. Let's go ahead and start with the makeup. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the stuff I got from Colourpop, and oh my goodness, bless their hearts. Okay, so they sent me this free eyeshadow here. This is the shade Flamingo. It is like, Flamingo, Flamingo, it is like the most beautiful aqua blue shade, and um, I actually didn't order this one. They sent it to me for free because they had like a little note with it that said, Hey, um, hi lovely, sorry we're late. And I just thought it was the cutest thing ever because it wasn't even late. It got here in like a week and a half and that is like really good for international shipping. Like Makeup Geek takes about two weeks and it was just really quick. I think it's because um, the like extra half week was how long it took them to send it but that's not long at all like I would not have complained or been upset or anything I think it was so quick but they sent me a free eyeshadow and I thought it was so 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 cute I saw it and I was like oh my goodness now the shades I did oh I better put the lid on that one. Oh, I'm not even in focus okay so shades I ordered I ordered six um eyeshadows from Colourpop so let's just oh. I feel like this is going to be a very, very, very <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a very messy video. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to drop everything everywhere because I have so much stuff here. It's going to be like. Whoosh. Okay, so these are these six eyeshadows that I ordered myself. Let's just. Uh, I don't even have like. This is chaos. This is going to be a very chaotic video. <laughs> okay, so the first one I have here, I was wearing this one in my August Favourites and Failures. This is the shade Lala. <gasps> the entire thing just fell out. <gasps> oh my god. I can't even believe that just happened. <laughs> the eyeshadow was like totally... Just, can you even tell? You can probably tell it's just crushed. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Okay, moving on. I'll deal with that later. The shadow I have on my eyes today is this one here. I'm not going to like face them towards the camera. I'm going to go like this for now. So this is the shade um, On The Rocks, which is like a really nice coppery bronze shade. I also got these two shades. So this one here is Play and this is Desert. 
Where did I put the lid? And then these are the, la oh wait, oh there it is. <laughs> so these are the last two shades I got. So this first one here, this is the shade Mittens. I love colors like this. And then this one here is the shade Bandit. I would just like to say that everything from ColourPop is so pigmented and creamy. Like so buttery, so creamy, so pigmented. You know. Moving on, I also got two highlighters. So the first one I have here, Brown Script, which is what I originally got. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to get this one. Because <laughs> it's similar, so I did. And that's basically why I got it. And also, it's because um, I ordered some other eyeshadows from another company. And they didn't send me the one eyeshadow that I, like... The whole reason I made the order was because of this one eyeshadow and they didn't send me that one eyeshadow. And then they weren't replying to my email, so I heard that these that brown script was a good dupe. So I went to go get brown script, they didn't have that, so I got this. And now I have both and the eyeshadow that wasn't sent to me is now being sent to me, so... I have like three of the same eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the shade Brown Script that I ordered and it's pretty similar to Swiss Chocolate. It's just like a reddy brown kind of colour, um, like an earthy reddy brown I guess. Very similar to Anastasia Belly Hills Sienna eyeshadow which is the one that's being sent to me now that originally wasn't sent to me so yay! While I'm at it I might as well show you the other eyeshadows I got so these are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are only seven of the eight I um, ordered because I already told you the story, you know, they didn't send me Sienna. They also sent me two of the wrong contour shades even though I only ordered one contour shade but I received two and they're both incorrect <laughs> but the correct one is now being sent to me so all is patched up and I'm happy. But these ones here are the seven that I ordered from... Oh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we have Morocco, Red Earth, Orange Soda, Sangria, China Rose, Orange Soda, and up the top here we have Caramel. And here are the two incorrect um, contour shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I thought I may as well show you. Here we have the shade Peaches and Cream, which is like really orange. I probably won't be able to use that. And then this one says it is a highlighter, and this is the shade um, Latte. So it's just like a really light one. I think you'll probably use it under your eyes. I think that's what they mean by highlighter. Oh wait, I do have a brush. <gasps> Dropping everything. Um, okay, so I also got this. Um, this is a Zoeva 123 Luxe Cheek Finish. Wait, Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. Yeah. I think this is the last makeup. Oh wait, no, I do have one more. Don't mind me. This is... Um, well, everyone knows what this is. This is the Beauty Blender. And it's dirty because I used it today for my makeup. Oh my goodness. When I got it in the mail, it was so small. I was like, I don't think I got the right one. Like, it does not look that small in videos. <laughs> but I forgot that people wet them. Like, they're wet in videos. And then I wet it. And, you know, it's normal now. But at first I was like, I think they sent me a dud. Because... Um, I also have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've already spoken about this in a video, but obsessed. And last makeup product I think I have is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer, which is just like an illuminating primer and it gives you like a really nice radiant glow to the skin. So I actually really like it because I used it to film this video and I can say that it's nice. Really white. The first one I got is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I actually got two, but this one here is the shade 153, and as you can see, it is just way too dark for me. Like, even when I'm super tanned, this shade is just way too dark for me. So, I don't know what to do with it, because I spent money on it, and then I was like, damn. And then I really, really wanted to try that foundation, so I got another, because I was like... Ugh. So I got another one and this shade actually suits me perfectly, it's what I'm wearing now. And this is the shade 127 and amazing, amazing foundation. Cannot say enough good things at- Ah! Oh! Okay, the lid's gone. <laughs> Can't say enough good things about it, even though I have only used it today. Actually, no, I've used it twice now, but it is an amazing foundation. Looks so damn good. So the next one I got here is the Dior Air Flash Foundation sounds like a spray can like I'll shake it up and be like Shh. feels like I'm 
spray painting my face. It's like I'm vandalizing my face. Like, shh. I'll like do some cool like graffiti tag on my face with it. Um, yes, but um, it's really weird because I only have four shades, which I just find really weird. Like, why do you only have four shades? But this is the shade 300, and it luckily is perfect for when I'm tanned. So I'm pretty happy that one of the four shades miraculously was my color so yeah this is the one that I already have tried but I have like the ghostly yellow foundation color this is the NARS all day luminous foundation and this is in the shade medium 15 I have no idea how to pronounce the name of it it's like Valoris or something like that but I really like this foundation although Okay, so I did try this one again in this shade because I haven't been able to use the other one because it's way too light for me, but I did try it again and I don't know, I feel like after a while it just makes your skin look really gross and I don't have like big pores, but it just really, after like a while, after like an hour actually, it makes your pores look really big and noticeable, which I don't like, I don't know, it's so expensive as well. I also got the um, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth foundation. I really wanted to get the matte and poreless one because I love all things that are poreless. So I really wanted to get that one, but they were sold out in pretty much every color at the place near me. So I just ended up going with this one. This is the um, shade 225 Medium Buff. So yeah. But I've really been loving Dewy Skin at the moment, so I'm actually happy I got that one instead of the other one. And the last foundation that I got is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and this is the perfect shade for me. Like, I had to buy it online because they don't sell it, like, in stores over here, and I was so scared because it costs so much money, and I didn't want to, like, spend that much money, and then turns out, oh, it's the wrong colour. So I'm so happy. This is actually the perfect color for me. I mean, not right now, <laughs> but when I'm not tanned, it is the perfect color and it feels amazing. Everything you have heard about this foundation is true. I can tell you that right now, unless it's bad, then it's not true. But every good thing you've heard about this foundation is true. Also, little side note, something I, I mean, it's probably not that interesting, but I personally find it interesting. <laughs> is okay so you see how it's like that way like a little oval that's like up and then without moving it you turn it that way and now the oval's this way am i right let's move on to mac okay so i got i got two lip pencils the first one is in the shade saw and the second one is in the shade well they literally glide on like a dream Oh, the first time I used it, which was to film this first impressions video right here, um, I am already obsessed with it and now I'm going to be using it every single time I do my makeup because it's so like creamy and buttery and they are as good as everyone says. Okay, next from MAC I got two, um, what do you call these things? Lipsticks. <laughs> so the first one I got here is a Viva Glam lipstick. This is Viva Glam II. So I think that means Viva Glam number two. But yeah, it's like the prettiest brownie, pinky, nudie color. And I wanted it so bad. The first, oh, when did I get that on my hand? And then the next one I got is the shade Velvet Teddy, which probably everyone's heard of. This is like, I mean, I hear about Velvet Teddy all the time, probably, or well, I'm pretty sure it's really popular, so. Also from MAC, I got the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. So yeah, this is just like a, um, wait, did I say soft ochre? Yeah, it's a soft ochre one. This is just like an eyeshadow primer. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what everyone uses it for. I don't know what paint pot means, but everyone uses it as an eyeshadow primer, so that's what I'm assuming it is, and it gets rid of all the discoloration in your eyes as well, which I love because I have too much of that. So the next thing, I have the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which is amazing. It just gives you, like, 
that's what it looks like. It gives you the nicest glow. Like you can just make yourself look so like radiant and glowing using this highlighter. I mean, I'm sure you can use a lot of highlighters, but this one is just so pigmented. Like you just and there's so much highlight. It's amazing. I have the Prep and Prime Spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus, which you just... I have never heard anyone talk about the smell of this. Like, I really like the smell. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's why no one's talked about it, but I actually like the smell. And then the last two things I got from MAC are eyeshadow. So the first one is still in one of these things because I bought it in store. This is it here. This is the eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate. It's just like a ready kind of um, brown color. The reason I got it originally was because in the store um, they didn't have the shade.